Welcome to the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Wednesday, May 16th. This is Gina McGuire. Over the last two weeks, we've seen precipitation across the Great Basin, but mainly targeting uh, much of the southern and eastern half over the last two weeks. But again, that was closer to the early portion of the two-week period where we saw the above normal precipitation for southern portions of the Great Basin. We have been seeing showers and thunderstorms affect the northern half of the Great Basin over the last week, and this pattern where showers and thunderstorms move across the Great Basin will continue over the next two weeks. Looking at this recent snowfall over the last 72 hours, we have had those showers and thunderstorms, but also very high elevation snowfall has been affecting the higher terrain of Nevada into parts of the northern Utah mountains, into the Uinta mountains, and then to a lesser extent further north. Our snow depth still remains highest over central Idaho and Wyoming and has been dwindling quite rapidly over Nevada, Utah, and the Sierra. The satellite loop from this morning shows an area of low pressure now moving into the Bay Area in California and it will continue to move across the Great Basin producing showers and thunderstorms today over the northern half of the area with thunderstorms already ongoing early this morning over parts of the Sierra front. These thunderstorms will bring gusty winds, small hail, and brief heavy rainfall. Over the last several days, we've seen anywhere from a tenth of an inch to over a third of an inch of rainfall per 24-hour period with any of these thunderstorms, with this trend likely to continue over the next week or two. However, with these areas of low pressure moving across, temperatures will generally remain near normal across the Great Basin. Now looking at the weather pattern for later this afternoon, again those thunderstorms are already occurring this morning along the Sierra front, but will expand and increase in coverage over much of the northern half of Nevada up into Idaho today. Again these thunderstorms will produce gusty outflow winds, small hail, and brief heavy rainfall. Therefore again these thunderstorms will be on the wetter side with elevated humidity across the northern half of the Great Basin. Dispersion will remain poor near this area of low pressure in the Sierra over northern and western Nevada and up into Idaho, and a little bit better as you move further south into the Great Basin where the drier and breezier winds will occur. Looking at those transport winds today, you can see generally breezy south winds over the southern and eastern half of Nevada into the Arizona Strip and southern Utah with gusts around 25 or 30 miles per hour at times, and these areas will also see low relative humidity today. Further north, thunderstorms will produce gusty outflow winds, but again outside of these outflow winds, thunderstorms will be on the or winds will be on the lighter side. Mixing heights will remain high region-wide with the exception of right near the area of low pressure in the Sierra into far western Nevada. On Thursday this area of low pressure opens up a little bit and moves over central areas of the Great Basin continuing that shower and thunderstorm threat over much of the northern and western half of the basin. We may also see some showers and thunderstorms move down into parts of southern Nevada. Dispersion will remain generally poor near and north of this area of low pressure and will be only on the better side over parts of the Arizona Strip and southern and eastern portions of Utah. On Thursday, the breezy winds move generally over the Arizona Strip and southern and eastern Utah, with again south to southwest winds gusting around 25 or 30 miles per hour with low relative humidity. Further north, any gustier winds we see will generally be associated with outflow winds from thunderstorms. Mixing heights, high over the eastern and southern areas of the basin and a little bit lower as you get into Nevada and western Idaho. On Friday, the low pressure moves a little bit further east. It's fairly slow moving, so will continue effect to affect the Great Basin and moves across Utah. So those showers and thunderstorms will move a little bit further east on Friday, mainly affecting the eastern two-thirds of the area. Dispersion again will remain on the poor side near and north of this area of low pressure in the Great Basin and a little bit higher as you get further south. Winds on Friday will still be a little bit breezy out of the southwest or west over southern Utah, but the rest of the area will generally see lighter winds outside of thunderstorm gusty outflow winds, however. Mixing heights will remain generally high region-wide, only a little bit lower over northern Utah into Wyoming. Looking at the forecast clearing index for Utah, we have very high clearing indices with those breezy winds both today and tomorrow, but you can see as those winds start to lighten up in northern Utah tomorrow, and especially on Friday, we'll see the clearing indices drop a little bit over the northern and western side of the state. Overall forecast amounts of precipitation with these showers and thunderstorms will generally be over a half or three quarters of an inch with some areas seeing over an inch of precipitation and again each day most areas out of these thunderstorms could see a tenth to a third of an inch total precipitation for the 24-hour period. As we move into the weekend, we still have this exiting area of low pressure causing showers and thunderstorms 
over the eastern half of the area and again over the higher terrain of the Sierra with generally ventilation indices moderate region-wide however again will be somewhat lower in the higher terrain or near the area of low pressure as we move into Sunday we have another area of low pressure dropping south off the west coast and this will push some cloud cover and also keep at least some lingering moisture across the area for some showers and thunderstorms at least over the northern two-thirds of the region dispersion will remain on the moderate to maybe poor side over parts of the northern half of the Great Basin northeast of the low as we move into Monday and this area of low pressure strengthens a little bit and starts to approach the west coast we will see breezy and dry conditions materialize again over southern Nevada, southern Utah, and the Arizona Strip. Therefore, we could see some fire potential concerns as these winds pick up on Monday and Tuesday with those low relative humidities in the south. Further north, again, another round of showers and thunderstorms over mainly northern and western Nevada up into Idaho on Monday. Dispersion will remain moderate to good in most areas. On Tuesday, that low moves into western Nevada, keeping that shower and thunderstorm threat for western and northern Nevada up into Idaho with those breezier and drier conditions still continuing over southern Nevada, the Arizona Strip, and Utah, and these winds may increase a little bit more on Tuesday as that low pushes east, especially across the Arizona Strip and Utah. Ventilation will remain again fairly good with the exception of areas north and east of the area of low pressure. Overall forecast amounts of precipitation are very similar to what we've been seeing. Each day with these showers and thunderstorms, we'll see some measurable precipitation in the tenth to third of an inch range in localized areas. So again, most areas will at least some, see some precipitation as we go through the weekend into early next week, with the exception of far southern Nevada and the Arizona Strip. Looking at the 8 to 14 day outlook, we're still looking at near to above normal temperatures across the Great Basin as we get into the last portion of May. However, we may still continue with these areas of low pressure bringing showers and thunderstorms, keeping that precipitation above normal over the northern half to third of the Great Basin. That concludes our webcast today. Check back on Friday for the latest updates.